there is no limit to inquisitive mind and perfection of knowledge. The Infinite Science program focuses on the latest scientific achievements, new developments and unique discoveries by Kazakh scientists. Infinite Science is an opportunity to see the future of science. American scientists are ready to present a vaccine against the human immunodeficiency virus. According to them, the vaccine contains certain vital but harmless fragments of viral proteins, which allow the human body to develop immunity to HIV. Hello, my name is Yerki Bulanbek Muhanbet, and this is Infinite Science. Watching today's program. Space technology, star sensor for orientation of space vehicles. It is used in high-accuracy positioning spacecrafts. Alternative oil extraction technologies. We propose to revive oil fields or increase their production capacity. Using lasers to study the properties of different materials. What is the advantage? We do not need to destroy the material, we do not need to bend it. How does one determine one's location in three-dimensional space? It depends on the coordinate system. On Earth, we are used to denote movement direction in terms of left to right, forward backward and up and down. However, in the outer space, these concepts are rendered meaningless as the directions become equivalent. This creates orientation problems for spacecrafts. Each spacecraft that is sent into outer space has a specific mission. It can be either a study of the magnetic field of the Earth or the exploration of the constellations. However, regardless of the purpose of the trip, all spacecrafts must be able to accurately determine their angular position relative to the object of the search. The first task is to determine the current location. You must understand where the spacecraft is located at the present moment, in order to bring it to the desired position quickly and efficiently. Otherwise, the spacecraft will be incapable of conducting the study. This is where special sensors come in. There are different types of sensors. They can be solar or magnetic. Kazakhstani scientists at the Institute of Space Technology developed a star sensor prototype. The star sensor is much more precise in its calculations. It is used in high-accuracy positioning spacecrafts. The device starts by analyzing the image of the sky. Then it photographs and records the location of the stars. The installed mathematical software determines the area of the sky, which is consistent with the position of the spacecraft. The main advantage of the star sensor is that, unlike sun sensors, it does not require any special conditions, since the starry sky is available at all times. This is still only a prototype of the star sensor. The invention is currently undergoing laboratory testing. The Institute's scientists created a special stand. They installed a super-resolution monitor, which creates a dynamic model of the sky. On the other side of the stand, they set up a collimator. The device transfers the image of the monitor to infinity. The researchers have emulated real-time conditions for the testing of the sensor. The results of the research will help scientists develop a flight model of the star sensor. In the 18th century, Russian scientist Mikhail Lomonosov expressed a fascinating idea. Mineral deposits can be replenished through natural processes, and if the extraction process is established correctly, it will create favorable conditions for the regeneration of mineral deposits. Kazakhstani scientists are attempting to prove this theory. According to Lomonosov, a mineral field is more than just a place where natural minerals are stored. He suggested that mineral deposits could be replenished in a natural way. Under certain conditions, the field is capable of producing and regenerating its mineral reserves. Kazakhstani scientists at the Institute of Mining started a unique research project to explore this theory. The essence of our project is to find a way to revive our mineral fields or increase the production capacity of the deposits. A traditional method of increasing the volume of oil production involves shifting the layers of the earth crust into wells. 
This gives the desired result, but only temporarily. Violation of the layer structure leads to the rapid depletion of oil reserves. The technology developed by Kazakhstani scientists makes it possible to extract oil without disrupting the structure of the layers. It increases the productivity of the wells for a long period of time. And most interestingly, the scientists also claim that it facilitates the process of oil extraction. The process involves activating water in the oil layers. Water is essentially a mixture of molecules that are ready to break up. When water is activated, its particles enter into a chemical reaction with the heavy carbon contained in the oil, which results in the light of fractions. To change the properties of water, radiant energy, a low-energy electromagnetic field, is activated in the oil field area. This form of natural energy can be obtained from the environment by means of a special device, the Tesla coil. Before the well is exposed to the electromagnetic field, scientists must consider a number of factors. For example, the direction of radiant energy must be strictly coordinated with the direction of the Earth rotation. This is the only way to achieve a natural regeneration of mineral fields. However, it is worth noting that the restoration of Earth resources is a lengthy process. And if the theory is proving correct, the new method will effectively streamline the process of oil production. The project is currently at an experimental stage. In the near future, the scientists plan to subject the technology to a series of industrial tests. Production of high-tech products requires detailed knowledge of the material's properties, such as the structure of various substances and their electronic, thermal, optical and chemical qualities. The interdisciplinary field which deals with such studies is called material science. It uses a variety of methods to study the structure of different materials. We will discuss one of them in our next report. Physical properties of thin film materials are studied in one of the research laboratories of Nazarbayev University. The scientists are using a laser technology, laser pulses to be exact. The advantage of this method lies in the fact that we do not need to destroy the material. We don't need to bend it. We don't have to do anything at all to study its structure and properties. The scientists send nanosecond laser pulses to the surface of the film. It generates acoustic waves, which propagate across the surface of the film in different directions. Different waves of different frequencies propagate with different velocities. The density of these thin films may vary. As the waves with different frequencies propagate, they detect the differences in the material's density. Scientists detect the acoustic waves by means of special sensors. It allows them to draw conclusions about the physical and mechanical properties of the thin films, such as the elastic modulus or Young's modulus, which is a measure of the stiffness of the material. This is extremely valuable for various industries that are interested in producing new coatings for products that are designed for operations in hostile environments. The technology has already attracted the interest of metallurgical enterprises in Karaganda. In addition to the undeniable practical usefulness of the physicists' work, it is also valuable in terms of the fundamental scientific research. By using laser pulses to study the properties of thin film materials, Kazakhstani scientists will be able to explore the lesser-known aspects of material science. Continuing the space theme, as an announcement to the next episode, I would like to add that humanity were already monitoring the night sky and astronomical objects in the ancient times. The so-called wearing long hair stars or comets were of particular interest to people. By means of telescopes and spacecrafts, modern scientists try to discover the nature of comets and the secrets of the universe. Discover more of infinite science with us. See you next time.